It's been a little over two months since the third test flight of Starship, and so many of you are asking me, when is the fourth flight? Well, now we're hearing straight from Elon Musk that Starship Flight 4 will be in about two weeks. Now, of course, the primary goal is getting through max re-entry heating. And if we've learned anything, it's that for SpaceX, fourth time is usually the charm. If you look back to Falcon 1, they finally succeeded on their fourth flight, even though they originally thought they would only have three tries to succeed, nearly going bankrupt in the process. So why is this so challenging? Well, of course, Starship is aiming to be the world's first fully reusable rocket. That's hard in itself. And Elon writes on May 20th, Monday, it's worth noting that no one has ever succeeded in creating a fully reusable heat shield. The shuttle, for example, required about six months of rework. So as of Monday as well, the launch rehearsal for Flight 4 was completed. And here's something new. Grok on X was actually able to write a summary of posts and of course it can make mistakes, but let me know what you think of its summary. So Grok writes, SpaceX's Starship test, heat shield quest for Mars City. SpaceX is preparing for the fourth integrated flight test of its Starship, aiming to launch in about two weeks. The primary objective of this test is to successfully navigate Starship through maximum re-entry heating, a challenge that has not been fully overcome with a reusable heat shield. Elon Musk highlighted that this test is crucial for SpaceX's ambitious plans to build a city on Mars and a base on the moon. SpaceX currently dominates the global payload to orbit with a recent report showing the company has launched 87% of the world's tonnage to orbit far surpassing other competitors. I thought that summary was pretty good. And just today, actually Tuesday, Starship 29 was destacked from Booster 11 after their successful wet dress rehearsal. Also, Steve Jurvetson, a longtime backer of SpaceX, posted that the Q1 launch report just came out. As you can see, SpaceX has grown to 80% of the world's tonnage to orbit, like Elon mentioned, which is a new high. This graph uses a magnifying projection to even see the other domestic launch providers. The five Chinese launchers combined lofted 13.6 times less than SpaceX, Europe was zero. Now Elon quote posted this saying, SpaceX might exceed 90% of all Earth payload to orbit later this year. He says one Starship is launching at a high rate, probably over 99%. Has to be or we can't build a city on Mars or the base on the moon. Now, Elon also says SpaceX files almost no patents, so there's nothing stopping competition from copying us. And I am actually in Florida right now, so here's a little bit of an update on SpaceX's ever-changing plans for Starship in Florida. Elon also responded to an article on X saying, we're aiming to build two towers at the Cape for Starship, one at 39A and another to be determined because they don't have final approval yet. And I get so much information on X about SpaceX updates, including one from Felix Spacetime. Kathy Leaders said in a recent talk that SpaceX has made more than $3 billion in direct investments on Starbase infrastructure since 2014 and over $1 billion in annual statewide spending. Also, check out this video. You guys know that I started my channel covering Starlink and boy, over 6,000 Starlink satellites are now orbiting the Earth. And this is the first video call on X completed through Starlink direct to sell satellites from unmodified mobile phones. So this phone on direct to sell satellites. And this phone, Kyle's phone on terrestrial. Uh, video call on X. Yeah, it works. So say hi to you, the Martians. Hey, Martians! <laughs> SpaceX says they're excited to go live with T Mobile later this year. Starlink also announced that they're connecting more than 3 million people now with high speed internet across nearly 100 countries, territories, and many other markets. And look at this short video from World of Engineering of the current Starlink constellation. 
My goodness, has it grown since I first started covering Starlink in the better than nothing beta days, which seemed like a lifetime ago. So I wanna know from you guys, do you actually think we'll see IFT4 in two weeks, or do you think this is another version of Elon time? I actually think we might be two weeks away, and I'm hoping that they get it right on this fourth try. It is truly crucial to survive re-entry. As Joe Tegmeyer points out, heat shield integrity is important, but controlled entry and proper pitch attitude is really something they must nail on this flight to give the heat shield a fair chance to demonstrate what its capabilities are. So also let me know in the comments, are you planning on attending the fourth flight of Starship? It is up in the air if I'll be able to attend because I have a lot of travel coming up and since it's a moving target, we're not exactly sure what the exact date will be. As you know, if you do plan on attending, try and keep your plans flexible because we're not quite in the Falcon 9 era of Starship yet where launches are sort of on time and like clockwork. And even saying launches are on time, we know that weather can also throw a wrench in the plans. So here's just a short update for you. I get a lot of my news from X and I wanted to just put some of this together so that you guys know exactly what's going on, which is yeah, we should have a fourth flight of Starship pretty soon. Originally, we were told that SpaceX was gonna try to do nine flights this year, then that number moved to six, and you know, we've only had one so far, so it'll be interesting to see how many flights of Starship we're able to achieve in 2024, but I can tell you it's only going to get more exciting from here. Thanks for watching Ellie in Space. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a like and please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos.